could say uh, broadcast for the old guy here because uh, today I'm going to be doing a gear review on the Fairmont riding shirt. Uh, just picked this guy up. Uh, I plan to go to Tennessee for the uh, BMW uh, rally in uh, June. And with all that humidity and stuff, I don't really want to care to be wearing the BMW big jacket that I've got, even though it's got a lot of air vents on it. So I picked this uh, shirt up a couple days ago. Uh, beautiful day today, warm. Um, uh, so I gave it to try out, and I'm going to give it its initial uh, review. I'm going to give one before, and then I'm going to give one after wearing it for a while to see what goes on. And that's the Reax, R-E-A-X, Fairmont uh, shirt. I'm down here in Denver today along the Platte River with my uh, R1200 here. Just got through. I'm gonna have another video on it on the uh, museum that the uh, we went to today uh, for Rambler uh, and American Motors the Museum down here in Elizabeth. So we'll have some video on that for you to take a look at. So let's get on with the review of the shirt. First of all, I want you to notice I got my vest on. I hate wearing it. I don't like it. But it uh, just food for thought. It makes you stand out. People see you, and the object uh, in this game is to be seen, uh, especially at night. Uh, this I picked up off of Amazon. This is an Engineers one <coughs> to run around thirty dollars, thirty-three dollars, and they've got pockets and stuff galore. So it's kind of nice. Uh, you can even got map uh, areas in the back. Lots of good storage on these things, so if you have a jacket that doesn't have any many, too many pockets and you need an alternative thing for lots of pockets, uh, this is the way to go. So having set that aside, let's get this guy off. Okay, this is the Paramount jacket. Now, I went through some decision making when I bought this jacket uh, on some of them out there. This is a $179 jacket. Uh, it comes with shoulder protection, elbow protection, and a back uh, protection on a CE2. It's got the soft, uh, pliable uh, protection. It's not too stiff and hard as far as that goes. Uh, the cool thing that I liked about this jacket is it comes with a big elastic pocket here and a big elastic pocket here and this little waterproof pocket here and it's actually got this little uh, waterproof kind of uh, pocket in here it does have this inner line mesh on it uh, like Kevlar stylish uh, material on it um, it's a waxy pattern to it, feel to it, uh, with uh, lines sort of going this way, very thin. It's almost like a nice, you know, with a shirt and tie, a good dinner, good little dinner jacket to go out there. Uh, it's got this kind of uh, kinky little orange uh, pen here. It does have the collar, uh, stays on here to keep the collar down from flapping around. Uh, there's another market on a uh, shirt on the market for 129 uh, a little bit more beefier now guys they call this a shirt but man it's more like a light jacket so kind of get the the, the uh, shirt concept kind of out of your way but if you look at any of the protective motorcycle shirts they uh, all are kind of thick so um, so beware of that now You've got the zipper here. Good, healthy, beefy, waxy uh, zipper. Slides pretty good. And you got your buttons uh, to button it down. Like I said, it's pretty nice uh, looking jacket. You know, you can almost go out to dinner with this jacket, really. It, the material of it is very, uh, uh, has a little sheen to it, silverish in it with black. But it, it's nice. Now, fitting of these shirts. I'm uh, six feet, about 200 pounds. This is an extra large. I put a large on 
uh, and it was really kind of tight. You can see here, I don't have much pool room going on the side here, okay? So that's one thing to look out on, on, on uh, trying to get this in. Now I got this at Cycle World, which I learned out is a part of Revzilla, the same holding company owns them both. So actually, I'm the first guy in Colorado to have this jacket because it was just brought into the warehouses of uh, Cycle uh, World and uh, they just got it to me and I just got it, you know, like a couple days ago. So, setting that aside, the tight, the jacket fits tight in the arms. Uh, so, because the reason for that is so it doesn't slide on impact. Uh, what you do have on the jacket is the back protector here. Okay, a removable. So that's a big plus at the $179 range. You also have belt clips in here for your belts if you want to clip them in to hold your jacket in place. So remember on the impact and sliding and stuff like that, it's it's holding you in place, holding that jacket in place so it keeps it on you. Now the only bad thing about this that I'm experiencing so far, and I know I'll be able to work around it, is notice I got short sleeve shirts on today. Kind of probably going to have to wear a long sleeve shirt. Uh, my elbow, when I'm stopping at a stop and I go to lift up or do something like that, my elbow rubs into this pad. Due to the tightness of the jacket around your arms, I think that's going to happen. So I think the alternative to that is to wear a long sleeve shirt or otherwise just tolerate the rubbing of the pad on the shoulders. Or possibly just maybe stick some kind of padding in between the pad and the uh, liner. Got a little reflective uh, emblem in the back here, which is kind of okay. Um, got a little logo here on the side. That's not really, you know, so for you guys that really don't want to see a lot of logos um, on it. Um, and that's it. Got a little reflective back on here. Okay. But again, it's a light jacket, guys. It's not a shirt. I mean, if you, you feel it, the weight of this, it's pretty hefty. But it's the alternative. You know, you got the guys out in the shorts that haven't lost their skin yet, and t-shirts, and inevitably, if they're lucky, it'll never happen. You know, we just had an accident here in Colorado. 23-year-old trucker comes down our grade here. Long story short, kills four people, 24 cars damaged, four semi-trailers toasted, fire on the freeway, the people got toasty because a, a tanker was involved and the four people were just burnt to death, okay? So you may not be a, a safe, you, you could be a safe rider, you don't have, you know, the orange vest, but here you are sitting on the freeway, minding your own business, and there's a semi crawling up your ass, okay? Hopefully, if you get sprung from your bike or hit and you go sliding along, you've got the protection on you. Uh, being summer, I'm kind of in my lighter summer gear. I'm still wearing a Kevlar lined pants. But I don't know if the camera's going to pick up. But knee protection, I have in here. I do have for optional uh, side protection, which I have installed on it. But uh, these are called sidewinders, they're not around anymore. <coughs> Great fitting pants, nice and comfy, just like wearing jeans. Now, uh, an alternative, of course, to the full hardcore riding suit is the protective jeans. So do your research on those and, uh, you know, look around, try them out. So, summer, you, you want to go out and go to the store, pick up a six pack of beer, you got some decent halfway protection on without going overkill, plus the heat factor. Now, it's pretty warm today, up in the 70s, and I'm not too toasty in this jacket. It's not bad. And it is a tight, now I wore it this morning at 54 degrees out. I was getting a little chilly, um, so I was semi prepared. I had my big uh, BMW jacket uh, with me, so I had to switch off until the, the weather kicked out. It wasn't that bad at 54 uh, on the roads with a chill factor and all that stuff. So something to think about, and 
uh, thanks for my video. Please subscribe, and we'll talk at you later.